Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lucy, and today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different with Magic Legends. It's gonna be the open beta review, and it's gonna be pretty interesting. So we're changing the system a little bit here, changing the way that we're scoring things in the categories. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please leave any comments or suggestions you have down below, and let's just get right into it. All right, guys, now I decided to do a special section just for the cards because I feel like that system kind of needs to be explained all by itself. So what you're going to do as you're playing is you're going to get different cards of all the different manas, white, black, red, green, and blue. And what's going to happen is as you're going through the game, you're going to unlock these different cards. And as you can see, I have quite a good bit unlocked and there's a lot more that we can do. They have a lot more. And what you can do is you take these cards, all of your collection here, and then you place them into your current deck, which can be two colors. Right now, my current one's green and blue because I've changed. I got a second character, so I wanted to try something a little different. So now we're using, uh, I'm sorry about to say black, we're using green and blue cards. And the way that it works is you have, like you can see here, six of 12 out of these points. This is for your creature points. And I have three creatures. Now, when the creatures get summoned, they you or you can see me. I can't really point at it. I can click him, the water elemental, and see he uses two points when he's out. So you, when as you summon creatures, they take up points. So you can have a certain amount of creatures on the battlefield at once, even though they're pretty junk still right now. And then you're gonna have those four cards of these. I'm sorry. You're gonna have the ten total. These ten cards that your complete deck is. And then at any given time, let's go back into the game, you're going to have, as you can see down here, you're going to have four random cards that are going to be in your deck. And that's how it works. So it's going to draw another one of those 10 cards. Now, it could draw the same one. So it's like I said, it's random and it can change up what you draw. So I think the card system is it's not bad. That's your skills. Your one through four will be the random cards that you draw. So you can make some very specialized tuned abilities and skill decks, but keep in mind it's all RNG. So I think the system here is not bad. I think it's a it's a good start. I, I do think they have some quite a lot to do to get it to where it needs to be though. Alright guys, now as far as PvE goes, this is gonna be extremely repetitive. I don't even know how yeah, I don't they're gonna have to add a lot more things into the game so where i'm at right now you can see on the screen is this is uh one of the overworlds called shiv and i'm doing the campaign quest which you can see up here in the top left and then what you see under that is just kind of the whatever overland map that you're in this bar is how much has been completed kind of in that overland so you can see there's still a lot to do to get uh, credit for this overworld type of event which is just you killing stuff people killing stuff that that that's pretty much what it means and then this up here will be your main campaign quests which is what you're gonna do for quite some time uh, when you're following the tutorial and then once you get out you're gonna start getting let me open up the, the map and you're gonna start seeing oh this is man they got a lot of things they need to fix it with, with this and you can kind of see the overland map here and this is the overlay map which there's two maps and you can't fast travel with that map you have to use this map to fast travel and to find the points and then you can move this map around you can zoom in and out but the other map you can't do anything with and it's it's pretty useless in all honesty and there's a, a few different icons i'm sorry one of them means this is a mana assault tower that's currently active right now, which is a world event. You go, you get it, and you flip it, and little NPCs come, and it just happens over and over again. The next things you're going to see is skirmishes. And these are going to be, they're going to have the higher level enemies here at the skirmishes. And what they're going to be is, well, let's see. I, I'm just going to go, we're going to go to this skirmish right here. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what these little skirmishes are. So it's to the east of us. And as you can see, the mini map is going to continue to rotate no matter how. And there's no place to lock it in the north permanently. Now, one of the things I have to, I do have to give the game is, is the WASD. You can control, and that's how I'm playing with WASD. That's how I'm controlling my character. So I don't need to change that necessarily. I do that with route with the right mouse button to move the camera, and then you can use, you know, your left click like you normally would. And then what you're seeing here, these are 
these kind of just little zone events. That's basically what you're going to do. You're going to kill some mobs, do a small achievement. And I'm wondering where my mana is and why it is coming back so slowly. This is driving me crazy. And I do apologize for the FPS. The game has horrible optimizations right now. So it runs smooth for me when I'm not recording. But for you guys, it might look a little bad. And I do apologize for that. I tried as my best that I could. And there was just nothing I could do to get this running at, at 60 frames when I'm starting to do all the pew pew in. So uh, I do apologize for that. It's a very uh, graphic intensive game too as well. And the optimization is pretty bad right now. They they're definitely need to get some of that 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 stuff put together so as you anyway so what i'm saying what i'm just doing here is just killing these little guys and you can see the progress like see i have three minutes left to kill these you know to finish killing these guys and that's kind of the thing and with the wasd movement i find it makes it really easy to cast things while because i can be running this way and then oh and run behind me and cast something so it does, I, I really enjoy the WASD movement in this isometric top-down view. I'd love to see it in some other games. Uh, there's a particular game that I would really like to see and that I'm kind of maining right now, but we're going to have another video on that game. You guys are going to see that soon. Um, but as you can tell, the combat itself, I think, is pretty, it's not bad. I mean, the animations are great. Like I said, the performance is good when I'm when you're not recording in you know 1020p uh I'm sorry 1080p at 60 fps but it's it, it's definitely it's definitely playable I mean even this is playable and I, I do have the graphics setting kind of cranked up so I guess I could lower it down but I do want you guys to at least get a, a an understanding and an idea of you know how everything looks when you're playing it now is there a lot of visual color that that can get on the screen oh absolutely of course this is the overland zone you get in some of the little oh here's this big guy so let's drop a tornado on his ass right carry him out he's gonna get tore up i'm gonna go into crack mode and just Rah! and it's it's just so much fun you just now you're just every character class has a little ultimate mode like this that you can do and this one just so happens to be a massive aoe that spins to win everything so it's it's uh the different classes that you get to choose from have different abilities and there you go we just finished the skirmish so that's what what you just saw me do is unfortunately what you're going to be doing a lot of your time in the game like it's and the difficulty you're going to be changing that throughout the overland map i'll show you guys in a second as soon as everything dies here so i don't get killed by a little silly mob and then when you open up the world map you can change the difficulty here and right now we're set on hard for 400 you would have expert for 750 and then a thousand and higher uh loadout score would be for the master so we're just doing hard right now i just want to get see so you guys can get a general idea it would be kind of tough for me to do some of the other ones i've tried to put in as much of time to get as many things as i can to get my ip level up just so I can have a better, I don't want to do a two hour review on the tutorial zone and then give you guys a a, a review on, on, on the game. I don't think that's, that's fair. So I have been playing for a few weeks trying to get some things uh, set up, you know. So that's, that's kind of the PvE in a nutshell, guys. Unfortunately, you're going to be doing these right here. And then I'm going to open the map up one more time. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring in an, an, an ordeal. This is going to be like a little mini dungeon. You can kind of click them now see once you finish it you can actually quick play it there's a like q button here but until you get there in the story mode you can't unlock it yet and these are the rewards that you get it shows you the cards spell pages the kind of mana that you're that you're going to get and things that plus other stuff but that's kind of like guaranteed stuff and it's all rng but you're going to get something All right, guys, so when it comes to PvP, there really isn't much to talk about. Um, you come to the place, well, you're going to open up your map, and then you'll go to Sanctum. And then once you get to Sanctum, this is kind of like the player hub. You're going to go to the little arena person. You kind of can't see him. That This map and everything, bro, this, they got a lot of stuff they need to work on. This whole thing's tough. Anyway, when you get to the battle master, you can click on him, and then he'll be like, oh, 1v1 duel. Yeah, sure. And then you queue up, and then it'll put you in a matchmake. Now... Uh, if we get one, we get one. I've tried a few times to get one. It's, and I know that it's fading probably off times. I don't know when people are playing. You would think that it only needs another person. You're calling this an MMO and it's hard to find a, a, a match, but you got to keep in mind, this is the only form of PVP that they have. 
other than that you can't do anything to other players like you know negatively really uh so you can't harm them you can you know even heal them on accident if you're passing by them in one of your mobs or one of your uh you know one of your spells aoe effects or something like that hits over on them so you you, you know they never i don't think they ever designed this to be pvp which is kind of sad because magic the gathering is known for like you can't play a game against yourself so um you know you got to keep that in mind so i really hope that they try to add more things to whatever pvp system they hope on bringing in again uh, i know going back to the combat system i know it could use some work but i think it's it's actually pretty good so i think there's some ways they could incorporate some decent pvp obviously you're gonna have to put some kind of mechanics to stop people from completely dunking on a new player uh, you know maybe like an unranked or, or maybe it would just add a ranked mode for people who want to go in there and be like say there's no gear score penalty or anything you just go in there you can go balls deep so we'll see but unfortunately, there's just, you know, uh, no no footage to show. So I, I do apologize for that, guys. You know, raw, right? There's really nothing we can do about it. All right, guys. So when it comes to grind, this is one of the places you're going to be finding yourself spending most of your time at. And this is your, like, dun like your dungeon. Listen to me. This is like your home instance. You're like your little base. Um and as you build it up and as you upgrade like the Asiatic core the mana vault the mystical study like i'll click on the mystical study uh mine's level three right now you can continue to upgrade the structures and you can kind of hover over it and what it tells you when you upgrade enables research to unlock new classes spells and create spell pages so you can unlock spells which would be some of the spells that i you know that i don't have yet and they have they actually have a lot of spells so you there's hundreds of them already and i think they're going to continue to add more you can research spell pages which is used to upgrade your spells from rank one to two to three to four uh, you know etc etc um so this this whole little place when it comes to grind you're going to be finding yourself in here a lot so with the different manas uh that you're going to have here in your little home base you also have lands and as you get more lands which you can research you can make it it makes it cheaper to rank up all of your spell pages so you're gonna have quite a lot of things to do and there's quite a lot of bit of currencies orb of shadows you have aether and these things are time gated and what i mean by they're time gated so the grind's definitely here like this orb of shadows i start the project and then this is what you need this is what it, you know the cost yada 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 harvest plant and mana same thing with all your other different upgrades and whatnot but as you can see start project two days and 18 hours so it's going to take some time so i can click start and it just gave it to me all instantly however it the structure is going to be busy for the next two days and 17 hours so i won't be able to do anything again so there we go we just got 560 of all of the extra mana of all the manas so now we can upgrade more stuff with the cost and i've already unlocked a second class so probably what i'm just going to be doing is like upgrading my arcane workshop which is what i can do now so i can just click start project and it's bam it's instant and then wow a cool effect for almost nothing because they don't really change anything so i wish this place would change as you upgrade it that would be cool you know like all these broken rocks like look bro i'm level two three and four and five and stuff man you know don't, can i get a wall or a chair or something you know what i mean anyway um the grinding is going to be the majority of you doing the overland things like you saw in the pve section and the dungeon you when i went over the dungeon um kind of the the three-man dungeon mechanics and going to the different zones getting the different mana you need and it's going to be strictly for this right here so you can build up your deck and build all your cards up and get them even stronger and stronger and stronger and i had just had to show you guys this part right here i forgot to put it in earlier is that the gear and the artifacts like your equipable things that you'll be putting headpiece chest piece whatever all that stuff is random drops to upgrade it you have to have another drop of it so you need like say five stones of jordans if you have five stones of jordans you can use four of them to upgrade one to like level four or five but it's random when you get everything and everything that you get that the drop rates are, are very small so you'll just be randomly upgrading gear <laughs> awesome all right guys so let's just jump into it we're gonna get right into the cash shop and as you can see 
this is gonna be one of the things that's probably gonna ruin this for quite a lot of people. Um, it's probably gonna ruin the game, let's just be honest. So, amidst everything, like you have this featured crap like you have in just about every cash shop, one of the things it seems like they're gonna be doing is, aside from selling you just about everything underneath the sun, is that you're gonna be buying these things called booster packs. And what the booster pack is going to do is have a chance to give you, as you can see here, the Demir Assassin, which is a new class. So it's, it's very hard to get unless you have a lot of time to get it. And you're going to have to continue to buy booster packs to get the cards you want. And they're not even full of cards. Most of the booster packs are going to have stuff like this. Mission rewards and relic fragments for upgrades, spell pages for upgrades. So you're going to have all this other stuff when you're truly trying to find a card or you're trying to find, in this case, a class. So that's that's just one thing. The next thing, of course, everybody's jumping on training with these with these battle passes. So I guess it's, it's unavoidable to get rid of from and you have the free version and which is going to be on the top as you can see here and then you have the paid version which is going to be on the bottom and that's going to give you more stuff you know so you'll be able to upgrade and move along faster now let's go to the next section and they also have packs for the classes that are already out the mind mage the geomancer beast caller and the necromancer and sanctifier are the ones you get to choose from the beginning the assassin is released right now but you Then you have boosts and services, so you can get more costume slots, you can rename your character, load out index slots, uh, and that's we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, another character slot, and of course all the boosts in the world that someone may need. So when it comes to boosting, and when I'm talking about boosting, I'm going to my library real quick, and you'll see some of these cards, like the Banisher Priest, or Zealous Charge. It's a rare sorcery, I have it up to rank 3. All the spell pages and boosts can upgrade it. I could upgrade it to another. We can go to tier four if I wanted, probably the next tier. Anything, the things that happen inside your little home instance, that reduces the page cost here. However, you can just keep buying pages and pages and over again. So it's, I mean, when you buy power with money, I mean, that is exactly the definition of pay to win. So there you go so i think that with this let's go back to the store that with this you're gonna have uh, i see them turning this into a huge gambling thing with using magic as the ip i just don't see how they could get away from this already when it's it seems like it's very very set like they're extremely set on they want to do for monetize to monetize this game and they're going to do it in every way possible basically my final opinion here is that these guys are just gonna milk some of the people like myself in this age range who have been playing magic ever since you know alpha and beta or you know maybe started around ice age or arabian nights something like that and they're just going to drain everyone dry like there's there's nothing here it's an empty shell it's an empty shell of a game even for all the things i was doing to try to record this game you guys i should have put that in i could have made a video longer than the review video of just how long it took to actually record the screen footage like just going from alt tabbing the game and minimizing it to you know answer a discord message or something dude you're gonna spend the next five minutes trying to get this game to run back in in some form of full screen mode without it running in a little four by three inch square in the middle of your screen somewhere it is atrocious that these guys can't even get the settings right the video settings you will not be able to play in the resolutions or the i should say the refresh rates that you want to because it's going to randomly change itself back all, all the time just the technical issues of this game is enough for me to say go eat a dick like there's nothing just those technical issues coming from this ip with those kind of technical issues out of the gate is is it really makes you wonder if these folks even know what they're doing all right guys that brings us to the end i just want to thank everybody for all the support and if you found this information helpful or that you like the video please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and until next time we'll see y'all later